Hey again. As promised, we're going to talk about the camera in this video. So check out the details pane on the right. If you don't see this, make sure you click set up scene in the scene view on the main interface. And you probably have the cauldron, this dot cauldron selected like me. So the details pane will give you information about the cauldron, like its paint color, its opacity, or its visibility, uh, what its vehicle is, etc. If you don't have it selected, just click on it in your scene view. Now if you scroll down in the details pane, you'll see a menu called camera markers. If you click on it, it'll open up, and you'll see that nothing's really in there right now. So we'll click add camera marker to change this. Call the camera that you create start, and then click OK. Basically, you just dropped a camera tripod so that we have the current camera position saved. This way, we can get back to the current position if we ever get lost. Note that this tripod is red. Now that we have the position saved, we can play with the blue arrows in the scene view. The first set of arrows moves the camera up and down, left and right. The second set moves the camera forward and backward and pans the camera left to right. Note that once we move backwards, we can see our red camera tripod. The third set of arrows rotates the camera down and up. Take some time to play with these. You can pause the video for more time. It's totally worth it to have a good understanding of the controls. And I'll play along for a little bit, doing flips. And basically now I'm totally lost. Fortunately, because we dropped that camera marker, I can easily get back to the original position. Just find the button under camera markers where there's a black camera, an arrow, and then a red camera. And then click it. The view that we have is the black camera, and the red camera is our starting tripod. So when you click black camera to red camera, it just moves you to the red tripod. Anyway, now we'll make some small adjustments to our start view so that we can get a better view of the potion in the cauldron. Tap the up arrow in the first group. Just tap it. Then top the, tap the top arrow in the third group. Now we have a little bit better of a starting view because it shows that potion, so we'll move our first tripod. To do that, just hit the red camera to black camera under camera markers. It's next to the one that we hit before. This will move the tripod to our current position, red. There's also a drop down menu at the top of the scene view. This just lets you get a different perspective of the scene and is mostly used for positioning objects. If you click on it, you'll see all the different perspectives we can get. For example, we can look at the top view and we see everything from above. Play with these if you want, but make sure to reselect starting camera view from the same menu when you're done. Anyway, in the next video, get this, we're going to have the most awesome spoon of all time added in and a lame baby dragon. Okay, the dragon's probably cool, but for now, just hit File, Save.